they can tell us the crime, and then hopefully they're going to tell us the weapon. Where is the weapon that was used in that crime? A new initiative to combat crime ahead of what could be a summer surge in gun violence. Well, this comes after five people are killed and at least six others injured in several separate incidents in New Orleans alone. WDSU's Morgan Lentis live at 5 o'clock from criminal court. And Morgan, the agency was joined not only by the NOPD, but other law enforcement uh, officials in the area as well. Yeah, that's right, Sola. Nine parishes were represented at this morning's press conference, and they were talking about this increased cash rewards that they hope will get dangerous people and guns off the street. Homicide worked throughout the night and was able to make an arrest, but there are more arrests to be made. Less than 24 hours after a mass shooting last Friday night, the NOPD arrested and charged Alex Madison with murder. And when you talk about mass shootings, that means a bunch of people were around. District Attorney Jason Williams says justice is best served when a case is rooted in ironclad evidence. Quality of evidence, a huge part of that is witness cooperation. But this group of law enforcement professionals know that is not always easy to get. So in an effort to motivate the masses, Crime Stoppers is increasing rewards for information leading to suspects and specifically guns. We know that most crimes are being committed by the same guns. We see it on our charts. Tipsters can now receive an extra $1,000 if they lead police to a gun that committed a crime. They'll get another $200 for every additional case that gun is tied to. We have to be creative. And the key to all of this is that we cannot do it alone. New numbers from the Metropolitan Crime Commission show that to be true. This year, the city's homicide acceptance rate is 83 percent, meaning the NOPD and the DA's office are working together. But the same report found that more than half of violent felony cases end in dismissal or a misdemeanor plea. We've got to have evidence and we've got to have you as those other team members to make those cases work in court. Just like we need jurors, we need witnesses. And we asked the DA's office for comment on the Metropolitan Crime Commission's latest report. They sent us a written statement which says their focus is on perpetrators of violent crime and that they have secured over 90 grand jury indictments and over 4,000 convictions via guilty plea since 2021. You can read that statement in its entirety right now on WDSU.com. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.